guys, welcome back. We're doing a prom tutorial today. So I'm gonna start my brows. I'm gonna brush them out with the Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown, and I'm just going to blend out the back of the brow first, and then go towards the front with short strokes and just kind of filling any areas that are really, really sparse. Um, I love the brow definer. I finally ordered another one after a long time of being hesitant to order one because I have so many brow products, but I just miss this little guy and he's just really amazing for a nice, easy, and natural brow. I just feel like it's just super easy. And I think because the wax is in the pencil too, it helps like so much for some reason. You know what I mean? But I'm just gonna fill any areas that are sparse, especially by the tails of my brow because that is where I don't have a lot of hair. Now to conceal them, I'm using NC25 MAC Studio Fix Concealer. Or pseudo finish concealer, excuse me. And I'm just using a Zoeva brush just to do this. I couldn't find my favorite brush because all my brushes are so dirty and I need to clean them, but I'm too lazy. So I'll just use whatever brush I find. So I'm just going to clean that up and use my finger to really blend out the concealer. It's so funny, I never did this when I worked at MAC. Like I never concealed my brows, but now I'm obsessed with doing it. To set the brows, I'm using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. I don't know why that took me so long to say. I'm just going to flick the hairs up. Now I wanted the moisturizer to really sink into my skin, so I'm using the Kate Somerville Nourish Moisturizer first, and then we're going to finish with the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with Painterly, as always, because it's the only primer that I really, really like stand by. And I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette today. Hey, I haven't used this one in a while, so why not? I'm using an E40 with Henna, and I'm putting this in my crease areas. And I'm just using this really fluffy brush because I want it to look really, really blended and smooth. I really don't want a fixed line of this. I kind of just want it to blend out, be a good transition color, so everything else that I add onto it looks smooth. It's so funny, I use the same brush for so many colors, as you'll see in this tutorial as well. I use the same brush like 15 times. Okay, it's a little exaggerated, but I use it a lot. So I'm just going back and forth with henna, just to make sure it's nice and blended out. And then I'm going to use Flamingo and Maneater. What a beautiful combo this is with the same brush, as you guys see. And I'm just going to go back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and, you know, blend this whole eye out. I just love this neutral warm eye but it's not neutral it's like a pop of color so it's not a boring prom eye I feel like a lot of prom eyes are just gold and brown and I feel like this will work for a lot of warm tone dresses but you don't have to like be boring and just do golds and browns you know what I mean I mean golds and browns always look gorgeous but I feel like sometimes you gotta jazz it up you know what I'm saying anyways now I'm taking Bossy, and I think I'm using a Sammy 2.3 brush, or 2.2, not positive, one of those. And I'm going to put that in the outer V area and just kind of smoke out that end of the eye, just so we got a little bit of dimension going on. But you can see how the Man Eater and Flamingo just created a beautiful, oh, I just love the way it created that little look. So, I did not know what to use Trust Fund with my finger, so I started with my brush. This is a 239, but I really suggest using your finger to apply this because I was not, just didn't know. So, I wet the brush and then I just used Trust Fund. But I'm going to try my finger next time, obviously. But look how beautiful this color is against the pink and the red, and I just love the way it came out. So, I'm just putting that on the inner half of the lid. I'm kind of stopping in the center, like towards the outer I kind of stop like three quarters of the way as you guys can see there and I'm just blending that whole area out and I don't want it to look too like mushy because sometimes eyeshadows that are really thick get like mushy looking you guys know what I mean so for eyeliner as always I'm using Kat D tattoo liner just my holy grail and for mascara I'm using Tarte's Tartist mascara because it's just one of my favorites and I really suggest you guys get it I feel like my lashes have honestly grown from this mascara, no joke. Now for glue, I'm using Huda Beauty's Waterproof Glue, and I'm using Lashes in Baby Love by Gigi Bell Lashes. These will be coming out soon, you guys. Summer 2017. Get excited. Because I am so excited to show these to you guys. You have no idea. No idea. 
Now we're going to start the face. I'm going to use Hourglass's Veil Primer. I got this from a Sephora sample, so why not try it today? And I actually really ended up liking it. It was pretty nice. It just, like, gave such a smooth finish, I feel like. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll purchase a big bottle. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Now, before mixing these two foundations, Becca Aqua Luminous and Luminous Silk, I'm going to cover these beautiful red blemishes that I have here. And I'm going to use the Motives Color Correcting, um, I guess this is a quad, yes. And I'm going to use a 3DHD Precision Brush by Sigma. You don't have to use as much as I did, but, you know, I have a lot of redness, I felt. And I kind of use under my chin as well. I'm blending it out with the 3DHD Blender because I just love this blender right now. And I'm getting nervous to use the Tarte one, the new one, because I just don't know if I'm going to like it. So this one might be my favorite. So after you blend that out, for the most part, you just want to cover it with the foundation that you're going to use. Just make sure you really blend out the green because you don't want that whole area to look green. As you can see, I really made sure to blend it out after I noticed a little bit of a green area. I made sure to kind of just blend it out a little bit more before I added more foundation. And for, the, this is a Dome Shape Sigma foundation brush. I have to find out the exact name. I think I'm just gonna put it on the bottom description, guys. But I love the way this was uh, put together. These foundations work really well together because they're both dewy finish foundations, so they kind of worked well together. I'm a, I was in a very weird, like, color zone <laughs> at this time, so I just kind of, mixed two colors. See the redness kind of disappeared. Those were freshly popped so they had a little bit of redness left. Using Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in medium. Just do it on the under eyes and the nose. We're not going to do too serious of a contour and highlight. You guys can if you want to do that for your prom but I'm not going to go too crazy. I can do an extreme prom makeover if you guys want me to do that. Let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to blend that all out, especially in the nose area. And then I'm going to use Kat Von D's Lock It Setting Powder in Translucent to set this. Still on the brink about this powder. I'm really not sure how I like it because some people say I look really pale with it on in person and then some people say it looks perfect. So I'm just so confused on what to do. I don't know if I'm using too much or what it is, but I absolutely love the way it sets. I'm not sure about the color of it, but I love the way it sets. It sets so smooth and it's so fine. And it just makes your under eye look so bright without looking white, I feel like, but I don't know. Other people tell me I look white, but I don't think I look light, but whatever. I'm just going to smooth out the cheekbone area with Cover Effects powder, their foundation powder in G40. And then I'm going to take an F23 from Sigma and use the Chocolate Soleil Powder by Too Faced to just bronze up that area and the rest of my face. My favorite bronzer as always, but sometimes I feel like it does get patchy by the cheeks if I'm not setting it correctly or if it's weird. I don't know, sometimes it does that to me. So I'm also going to make sure my neck is nice and bronze as well, along with my jawline and my nose area. But we want it to be super bronzed. Now taking Flamingo and Man Eater again, I'm going to use, I think this is an E15, maybe not. And I'm just going to put this underneath the eye. I think it might be a Zoeva smudge brush. Sorry guys, I'm a little all over the place. But I'm just going to put this underneath the eye and just smoke it out. I just love the way red and pink looks underneath the eye. It's so weird, but it just works, you know? Now I'm just going to put some more Tardis Mascara underneath the eye on the lash line and then I'm gonna use a spotlight duster just to kind of wipe away any baking powder that is left over I always make sure to do any eyeshadow and then just wipe away all of the baking powder that's usually my steps for blush I'm using King and Kisses by Marc Jacobs and I'm using their Marc Jacobs blush brush this is a really great brush it's not as soft but it's really good at applying br blush brush. Meh. To set the face, I'm using Tatcha's Luminous Dewy Mist Spray. And I'm using the Too Faced, I think this is a Ray of Light, their new highlighter. 
and I'm using a Sigma highlighting brush for this. All the numbers will be below. Don't forget, I still have a discount for these, you guys, till the 14th. Oh my god. So, this is the last day. Now I'm using Huda Beauty's Liquid Lipstick in Bombshell. What a beautiful color. I'm a little obsessed. This is just a perfect neutral. You guys can do a dark red. You guys can do, you know, a plum, a rose, a pink, a peach, like I'm doing here. And really anything will go with this. I'm also putting Ray of Light in the corners of the eyes and on the brow bone just to kind of brighten up the eye look. I love the way this looks. Uh, gorgeous. Sorry guys. I'm just a little obsessive. But that's it you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this look. My first prom look. What do you guys think? Let me know below. And let me know what you want to see next because I want to know. Write it in the comments below. So if you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and, you know, send me some love and subscribe if you haven't already. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.